Yeah. What was this? Uh, how many square feet? Yep, I got you. 2,500. Alright, 2,500. Okay, front section is 472. I mean, that's the thing, it actually is the amount of space that I do need. Oh, it is? It's just, given that it's 1,700 square feet, not 2,500, that's I'd be willing. Not, I'm going to tell you, you're, you have to kind of stop living in there. You know, you got to be in reality here. This is a mathematical representation of reality as it is. No, I get that the nature of the beast and is that most of them are full of shit. It's just, okay, at, at some point... I'm not point, disagreeing with you. But I also don't lie about the shit that I'm selling and claim it's something it's not. They're not lying. Most of them are full of shit. It's just, okay, at, at some point... I'm not disagreeing with you. They're not lying. Most of them are full of shit. At I'm some not point... I'm disagreeing with you. Full of shit. Point. Disagreeing with you. What the fuck? Let's see. Right, but you're not gonna find anything. Fourteen hundred five square feet. Okay, so that's fourteen plus two fifty three, plus. Yeah, this is actually the amount that you told me. Mm -hmm. I've seen about 45 spaces at this point, and you're the literally the- factor was insane? Well, not- it, no, you're like the first person where the, the amount of space you said there was is actually what there was. Okay. I can't tell you how surprised I am and happy at the same time. What was this? Uh, how many square feet? Yep, I got you. 2,500. Alright, 2,500. Hey, nice to meet you. So, nice meeting you. Let's take a- Thank you so Alright, so let's see what this looks like in here. Not bad. All right, it goes pretty far back. This is what the ceilings look like over here. And this is view of street. What's your name? Sarkis. Sarkis and Marie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Lewis, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Lewis. Right. You're a smart guy. You know that. Okay, so it goes back this way. A little alcove in here. Is this what leads to the basement or somewhere else? I'm say yes, but I think All right, no okay. worries. Okay, bathroom. Beats my present bathroom. Look, you got a nice view. Yeah, the floor is not bad. Nice. Got an AC up there. Okay. Now for the fun part. It's time I shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Front section is 472. Front is 472. Now from... Let's see what we have here. And... Let's see. Is this the basement? Yes, sir. Just like it. I haven't been down there yet, but. Go. Sounds <laughs> 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 
Hmm? Yeah, I saw the bathroom down there. So I did two separate measurements to actually be generous. Uh, because so the back of the space is, yeah, let's just, let's just be generous here. So see how this space opens over here? Whereas over here in the front section, it does not open uh, because you've got some loss over here. And obviously I'm not gonna be using that. But if we were to just be generous and just assume that I'm paying for that as well, let's just be as generous as we can here and see what the actual would be. We get, <laughs> let's see. Tell me about it. Saves. Okay. So I'll go up to this section where it is the largest alcove. Let's get as much of a generous measurement as possible this time. So before, what I did is I measured the usable space. And here I'll measure the... All right, so it's yeah. so usable space. It's off by about seven or eight. With un, if I measure using unusable space, it's only off by three fifty, which is actually good by New York brokers and realtor standards. Like lying by twenty percent is not too terrible. That's the thing, it actually is the amount of space that I do need. Oh, it is? It's just given that it's 1,700 square feet, not 2,500, I'd be willing. I'm going to tell you, you're, you have to kind of stop living in the, you know, you got to be in reality here. I am in, that's, that's the thing. commercial real estate. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I, you're between fifth and sixth. You know? Yeah, I, I am in reality. That's why I'm actually measuring it. See, he's the guy in the fantasy land because no, no, uh, he's no, not no, measuring no, things. No, 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 no. That's so explain for me. They, that's how they do it in commercial real estate. So their reality is, the la is not reality. Well, I mean, it's not just that landlord, it's every landlord. No, I realize they're all full of shit. It's just of that there's course. a different factor that they're full of shit by. There are places that say eight, uh, 1,800 square feet when it's 800, and there's him saying 25 when it's 1,750. But like, he's, he's full of shit by a medium single, margin. But Yeah, every single commercial broker, if you look at the number, you take away about 30, 35%. It's just the way it is. Well, I, I understand they that when the they talk about... Building, they count for the entire building for the loss factor. Yeah, if there's a, I, I expect the loss factor in offices because it's been explained that you're paying for the hallway, the elevator, but I haven't right. seen that in actual retail. Well, when you were downstairs, though, did you measure all the way back to the back and went all the way back to the corner in the back? Is he including the, that they, in the 2500 or yes, no? Yes, the whole basement is yours. It includes all of that. Made cool. Every little piece of but the it, He said, I think, 2500 square foot top, 1000 square foot bottom. This one? That's the thing. Like I'm, I'm in, I, I'm more than happy and open to to making him an offer, but I'm gonna make him yeah, an I'm offer based on what he's actually offering, yeah, not yeah. the bullshit number that he put in his head. So, because I'm, I'm living I'm in reality. On your side, right? Because yeah. When you close a deal, I close a deal. Yeah. So I'm on your side. I'll always be on uh, your that's side. That's the thing. I'm more than happy to make an offer. It's just I'm gonna make the offer based on the actual measurement, but okay. th rather than what's on the, the, so, the, the number that he makes up. The only so, thing I'm ask you to he's do. probably not gonna be happy with the number I give him, well, but I'll offer. So here's the thing. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Sure. But you have to trust a little bit of my experience. And my broker has been doing this twice as long as I have. Mm -hmm. She's like the top, like she knows what the hell she's doing. 
and she knows this building. Uh -huh. So at least let me talk to her. Like if you give me an offer, let me talk to her and say, is this an insult? Is it going to be like, this is an insult? I'm, you know, I'm not even going to consider I, honestly, this. Or I, is this like, okay, let me consider this. I've learned, to not, care, I've learned to not care about whether or not I'm being insulting when okay. I'm making an offer. Because so, in the beginning, I really cared about this. And as time went on, like when I visit spaces that say 1800 and they're eight, I, I don't feel guilty because like well, they don't feel guilty. Different. So I would, I, I would be, I know from 12,000 bucks Lewis, for that. Lewis, darling. Wait, where are we going? Where are you? I think you're taking me somewhere. 234, I am, but I got it. 234 is going to be between 7th and 8th. Yeah, 7th and 8th. Um, and it's going to be on the left side of the street so we yes, can cross you. Yes, sir. Listen, I understand that you don't care. I understand that. But let's just say this, okay? You can already see, you've seen a million things already, right? You've seen a lot. You can already see kind of what's out there and what's what you're going to get for your buck, right? Yeah. Not to say that something else won't pop up, but I'm going to tell you from my years of experience, it's not going to get too much better than this. Oh, no, I'm These sure it's not. These two spaces are probably as good as it's going to get, right? We could probably get a deal. But we can't say we don't care because then you don't make the deal, right? We have to at least look like we care. No, but I don't you know? care about potentially offending them with an offer well, because they don't care yes, about potentially offending me space. by making things up. No, 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 no. Because somebody else will have twice as much money as you, and it won't be insulting to them, and it won't be making things up. It's, it's called commercial real estate. It's the way it is. This is the nature of the beast, right? So you take the nature of the beast. No, I get that the nature of the beast is that most of them are full of shit. It's just okay, at, at some I'm point. I'm not disagreeing with you. Listen, I'm a broker. I don't make what a landlord makes. You know what I make. I make a percentage of whatever you yeah. close on, right? And I could run around for six months with you. You could turn around and I could not make a deal, right? It happens to me every single day. I run around for hours. I do 70 million hours of research and then I don't get anything, right? That's Sounds the frustrating. Of the beat. Well, it is, but sometimes I get lucky and I do my job right. The person's happy. They find a space and that's how I make my money, right? It's not about me. What I'm saying is I've done this long enough to know that it's not about insulting your mom. It's about getting what you want, right? To get what you want, we have to be smart. We have to be smart. Right? Yep. Me being smart would be not offering them something even remotely close smart. to the price that they're asking for. If you offer them something too low, then you're going to lose the space. If you, offer, if you put in your mind how far, how far could you go, right, to make it work for you, right, and maybe go a little under that. I go. I, I give them twelve thousand five hundred for that. Asking 18, I'm never gonna get it for 12,000. And then it'll, it'll be empty. I mean, that's the thing, I can't but lose it because I don't have it. You understand? See, right, but you're not gonna find anything if you think that you're gonna be able to ask somebody to, to take five thousand dollars a month away from their rent, it's not gonna happen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And listen, I will work my ass off for you because this is obviously I'm not an idiot and this is a good deal for me, duh, right? Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, I'm not gonna run around and work my ass off. And nobody is if if you if if you're not going to be in the reality that these people are not going to go down five thousand dollars a month. I would not ask them to go down that much if it was not. It doesn't if, matter. It yeah. doesn't matter. That listen, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not trying to pull the wall over your eyes. I'm not that person. I think you kind of figured that out already. I'm just telling you that this is what you're up against. This is what it's going to be. If you think you're going to find some miracle space. That they're gonna be like here you know these are really these two no lie these two are miracle spaces they're like a needle in a haystack good area great space yes am i gonna disagree with you no 100 percent, i agree with you but what well, you don't know because my landlord is my friend right he's my the guy that i work with every day it's how much they pay to rent those buildings how much they pay in taxes you know it's, it's an upkeep for that Lights on. It's not like they're making fifty billion dollars, like we think. Oh, I'm they not are. expecting that. I'm not uh, implying right. so that, that they're that they're that they're billionaires. They're yeah, that's you. you know, it's the way it's the business. I I don't mind that they you do that. It would just if, if they would be. Prices. Well, see, that's a false dichotomy because I don't, I mark up my prices, but I also don't lie about the shit that I'm selling and claim it's something it's not. They're not lying. It's commercial real estate. They what they do. Okay, so let me clarify this one. How do you go from seven from twenty five hundred to seventeen forty two? It's it's called loss factor. And, and you didn't measure downstairs, I'm sorry, it was way further down, it went like even further to the end. Now, whether you use that space, we might not need that, but that's what they're selling, right? And here's the thing, they market, they do, they have marketers, right? That spend their day figuring out what the market price is. You could come back in three years and that space could be 
hundred dollars less a square foot. You know what I'm saying? I'm joking. You could come back in three years and it could go up. They go along with the market. Whatever the market is, is the way they price their pricing. It's the way it is. They have marketing, marketing strategists, like my building. We were 43 per square foot, and now we're 40 per square foot because of the market. But I can tell you right now, if the market changes, even though it's the same square foot, they're gonna go up to 43 again, maybe 44. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So am I disagreeing with you? No, but if you want a space, You're gonna have, you might have to, you know, wow. 234. And look, I'm not pushing you. you get, I only want you to be happy. If you're happy, then you might recommend me to somebody else and then I make you. If you're not happy, then I'm, yeah. I'm at a dead end. But I also don't want you to lose a really great space if you think that's a really great space by playing hardball and telling some landlord he's been doing this, whole, you know, own that building for centuries. I mean, I'm sure he's more than happy to leave it empty for 10 years. It's like, I'm not, I know that there's no uh, desperation on their part. Right, it's been empty for a while. And it probably will be for a very long so, time. Well, I think that they will do a deal, but I, you gotta be careful, right? You don't wanna be like, I want it for $5,000 a month left. It's not gonna happen. It's just not. It's just not gonna happen. 236 would be the next one. I love that you're smart, man. Uh, we passed 234. Is that what we're going for? Yeah. Led around by like a doggy by the nose. I think that's so great to have a an intelligent conversation about what you're getting yourself into. But I just want you to be careful. That's all. If you want something, we have to be smart. I think this, is it. this has to be it, right? This used to be the lighting store. This used to be the lighting store. The shit I go through to bring you people interesting content. It's like, I get what she's saying. I mean, I get what she's saying when she says that, like, they're gonna mark shit up. But like, don't try to compare what I do to what they do. Do I, I ask a price for my service and I advertise what I'm doing. Because I had the same conversation with this woman um, a few weeks ago where she said with retail, there's a much lower loss factor than what you get in office buildings. And in office buildings, she said the loss factor is 30 to 35%. But now you're bringing up that it's normal to have a 40% loss factor even in retail. And then she says, well, you didn't measure the basement. Yeah, because it's advertising 2,500 square foot top and 1,000 square foot basement. It's not advertising 335, uh, 2,500 square foot total. But it's pointless to go over those things because when I actually bring up numbers or stuff like that, it's just, anyway, let's see what we got here. Right, you see that truck? I've I used to work in this building. It's a nice uh, area. I like it a lot. What'd you do in there? I fixed stuff on the fifth floor for a studio owner that had a cocaine problem. Well, that's the guy that you told me about. Yes. That was there. A long time ago. You told ago. me about that the other day. That's so And weird. then I used to work, I used, I rented a space in that building uh, from John Grossbart. That was the guy from the sign. You ever watch Seinfeld? Remember the episode where Kramer screams, I got gross barred? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he, my God, that's so funny. Yeah, so he had a that's few... Larry funny. David was a roommate with John Grossbard, and apparently they had some sort of feud over furniture or something like that, and that's how he wound up getting featured in an episode, where that's he was awesome. using gross barred as, a, as a verb that meant getting screwed. That's funny. Yeah, I was I one of his know, last... Yeah, yeah I, I rented the space that MB uh, Alicia Keys Management Company used to have in the basement in Planet to Planet that he had. It was... Um, it was it was funny because like if I went there was one time that we went downstairs and the, the buzzer wasn't working and we had an issue with bed bugs and he goes if I made this place any nicer you couldn't afford it but it was this very like old <laughs> New York accent it made me laugh. It made this place any nicer you couldn't afford it. This is pretty. You like it? Yeah. 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 Like yeah. I miss. I like the lights too. Even nicer than the other one. His name is Rob. He's a good guy. 
They have a nice garden on the top. I love architecture so much. I love putting Hi. architects. Hi, you Rob? I'm Rob Sobel. Nice oh, nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. So this is Hector, our super. He's going to open up for us. Fantastic, thank you. Let's see what we have in here. Very thorough. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's see. Very thorough. High ceilings, nice. So I guess it's good. Yeah, this used to, this used to be that LED lighting store, right? This used to be the lighting store. I remember, a long time ago. Uh, yeah, this place was so cool. You could see that they used to, that every single element of this place was lit up in a really cool and creative way and there's only a little bit of it still left. This place is pretty nice. It's you know it's a shame we're probably gonna want like thirty thousand dollars or some bullshit. But let's see what we got here. I don't know how to turn the light off. I never don't remember turning it on. Oh well. Hopefully I don't kill my battery. This is a sexy bathroom. This is the place. This is the kind of bathroom where you know. This, this would cheer me up when I'm sad. Like, damn, this is fancy. Look at that. Even the lighting on the top is fancy. This is nice. view out the back. Yeah, I'll take a generous measurement. How about it? Not bad. Two thousand. Pretty nice. Yeah, you want to go down? Or yeah, I'll take a look. Yeah, but you saw the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, this nice one, bathroom. This one's, that one's really nice. It has a nice lighting. Yeah, the, the lighting and the, the, lights, you know, the tile nice. and everything. Yeah. Ed. This basement's even a little bit bigger. Uh, there's 10 tons of central air conditioning, which is going to be more than enough for your use. It feeds the upstairs and the downstairs. And this used to be. I like your Game of Thrones door. Yeah, everyone, everyone loves that door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, that used to be a fur pump, so it's actually uh, some other pumps. Wow. That's so cool. This is That's cool. cool. Yeah, door, door. That door is so cool. You got 95 years old. This is a punishment room right here. I would not want to get locked in here. I figured it's. If, if I were gonna use a door like this, it would be to lock somebody in there. And if I did, I'd want it to be dimly lit. There. No, it's 
Thinking lights over here. This is so cool. I was just checking out the lights that they have over here. All yeah. these little touches that they had were so yeah, cool. But I, apparently, I guess they burnt out. Um, this mirror is really cool. Oh, they have a second bathroom. Yeah, this is this is, this is a nice bathroom. It's a little bit bigger. That's an impressive sink. I like the mirror. Oh, I like. It. You have two bathrooms. Very nice. Hmm. And then uh, back here, there's uh, this back area here, there's that whole lot of lights. This, this kit here, if you have it, I'm sure something else can be purchased, but I had a little square. This oh, goes back about cool six that? inches or eight inches. So, much fun. Like so where this whole thing could just come out. That's yeah. cool, though. That's pretty comfy. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I've kind of seen what I need to see, really. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Any questions, Lewis? No? Uh, about space usage, no. So. That's a septic for ventilation up there. So we're going to get on. Um, like data recovery on phones that have been in the ocean or hard drives that have been like dropped and stuff like that. Like mostly the stuff that the smaller iPhone repair places uh, like don't do. And you're pretty, you've had success getting it off of uh, solid state drives. SSDs are more of a pain in the ass, but we've had success with some of them. Like the 2015 yeah, I, A1502s I, that use the crappy Samsung I, I controller? I warned my mother. She almost spilled a cup of uh, Coke on her computer, and it just came close enough, but it was far enough away that it only got underneath it. So I warned her. I'm like, you can't have it this close to your laptop. Use a keyboard monitor. And then what do you think she did a few months later? Spilled a cup of coffee <gasps> with sugar all over her laptop. With sugar. But luckily I had, I, I always do multiple backups, cloud, local, network hard drive. Hey, you know so what you're doing. I was able to... Fortunately, get her back up and running. You do computers and phones and anything technological? Mostly just data, like the stuff that's profitable, pretty much. So data recovery, yes, because it's profitable. Like, um, I have a virus on my phone kind of thing, no. Got it. All right, sounds good. Well, feel free to reach out. Thank, let, thank let, you so much. Let, let me know if you guys have any questions. Of course. No, I'm here. My office is on the 14th floor. So we we have four staff members for these two buildings, uh, this one is a two-story building, and full-time, two managers. So Perfect. we're very easily to reach. We're hands-on. We are. Thank you Take so care. much. Really nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Bye. Nice meeting you. Bye. What are they asking for this one? 19. This one's at least closer to 19. It's a really nice space. Like this is, that's the difference between. I'm not between... telling you, but that's a really nice No, no, that's the thing. That's I've th seen a lot of stuff. 
that's the difference between out of my surprised. budget, but I would feel bad lowballing right. versus well, out of my budget, but I get, it. get the hell out of here. I so, get it. I get it. Yeah. I get you. I'm hearing you. Because this one was about a, like a 400 additional square feet, nicer basement, nicer top. Yes. Yeah, well, it's um, already pretty. You don't have to do. Yeah, like this one, I would yet. I would feel very bad lowballing them because they're actually asking something that's reasonable for what it is. Great. Alright, I'm going that way actually, I'm going to Ace, so I'm going to let yeah. you go. Alright, good okay. seeing you. And, uh, and uh, if you want to make an offer, let me know. Thank you. Alright, bye. See ya. I think here's the part that gets me more than anything else. And you all tell me what you think. Here's what gets me more than anything else. Is I actually told this, this broker my budget. I gave her my budget very clearly. And she sent me some spaces, and like I, I, I just told her, you know, this is just out of budget. It uh, doesn't look amazing enough for it. And she pushed me to go see them anyway. So I go to see the spaces anyway. And now, after I see them, she's uh, surprised that I'm making lowball offers. So if somebody tells me, if the repair on this device goes over 400, I can't afford it. And I say, you know, it's going to be 425 for board repair and this or whatever. Like, fine, it's $25 more. If somebody says 400 is my limit, and I give them, and I, and, uh, I offer, show them some, uh, seven, you know, oh, you need 700 or $800 worth of stuff. Well, no, I'm not interested. Well, yeah, you should still bring it anyway. Just, just bring it anyway. And then I quote them seven, $800. They're going to be pissed at me because they didn't have to take a train to me to hear that. Like, they already knew it was going to be out of budget. They knew the price. I told them pretty much all the details. And they're... Like, the only w reason I would do that is if A, there's a chance that it would be cheaper, or B, I'm just pushing the hard sale like a douchebag. And here's the thing. If they're going to push the hard sale, <clears throat> if they're going to hard sell me, then I have absolutely no guilt hard lowballing. Because if their reality is, hey, I know that you said your max budget is around 14k or 15k, I'm going to show you a 19k space, then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lowball you that amount. Because you fucking asked for it. Perhaps I'm being unreasonable, but in my opinion, they are being unreasonable. And it's just interesting how it keeps jumping, like when I said, uh, when you said, you have to understand reality, and I said, you know, this is reality right here. This is reality. This is, this is, this is numbers. This thing does not lie. This thing does not sell you. This little Bosch tool right here, who are not sponsors, by the way, hint, hint, cough, cough, ahem, <clears throat> social media people at Bosch, uh, this little Bosch tool right over here, this does not sell. This does not lie. This does not cheat. It literally, this is a, a mathematical representation of reality as it is. So, if you tell me a space is 2,500, I measure it, and it's 17 something, fuck you! I mean, like, which one of, now, you may say that the reality of the business is that I'm supposed to get ripped off, or I'm, they're supposed to try and upsell you, they got expenses to pay, it's expensive to have a building, you don't understand, blah de blah de blah but don't you try to compare that to what I do. Like I mark up my services so that I could pay my staff, but what I advertise on my website, what I claim, if I say I'm selling you 30 cc's of Amtec Flux, I'm selling you 30 cc's of Amtec Flux. If I say I'm fixing your board, I'm fixing your board, I'm not just like pissing on it or something, you know? I, well, everything that I sell is exactly what I sell. Now if you need to make extra money, because you can't afford to pay your bills or to pay you a market-based advertiser or whatever the hell you're trying to sell me on. If you need to make some extra money to pay your bills, again, that's cool. You can ask for it. All I'm asking, all I'm asking, and I think it's reasonable, keep your lies to within 10%. Like, don't, and I don't think that's unreasonable. Keep your lie within 10%. Like, have the decency to, to say, I'm offering us eight seventeen hundred square feet, or 1,800 square feet, but I, I think it's worth the money. It's a nice building. It, we have good, you know, we have a good landlord. We have a good super. There's good tenants in the building. It's a high traffic area. It's upscale. 
It'll help your business. You want to be here. Aren't you sick of the fact that you don't have gas? Aren't you sick of the fact that you don't have heating? Aren't you sick of the fact that you uh, rent from Hub NYC, where you ask about installing a split system for heat, since they're not providing you heat anymore? And they don't even respond to you within three fucking months? Don't you want to get rid of the scum landlords at Hub? Rent from us is a premium, but fuck it, it's worth it. Because at least then I could say, I'll say no, I'm still not paying you 18,000, whatever the fuck you want for that, that's, that's crazy. But I can respect it. There's a respect there because you've tried to sell me based on what you, uh, because you've tried to sell me based on what is real, what you actually perceive your value to be. And the thing is, she's not all wrong when she says that, you know, all the places you go to are going to be like this. Like, don't, trust me, I'm fully aware that New York City is filled with, uh, with, with scumbags. Like, you don't got to tell me that. I mean, you're, yeah, you may be older than me. I've lived here for 30 years. I'm fully aware that New York real estate is filled with scumbags. But that doesn't mean that I am going to kowtow to it when I have until 2023 to make a decision. Would I like to leave sooner? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would love to leave sooner. But I'm not going to... There's, there's no way in hell that I'm going to jump into a shit decision when I have four and a half years to go look at. And when she says, you know, I'm willing to show you all these places, but I'm not going to be showing you around all these places if you're just going to make ridiculous offers, fine. Fine. I'll go on my own. That's what I did the first time. I went to every single block, every single building, and then I found one dude that wasn't a fuckface, and I rented from him. And I'm okay doing that. It's not like I'm getting any value added by going with you, you know? You're kind of... You don't seem to be interested in showing me the places that are within the budget that I gave you. You don't seem to understand what I find valuable. But it is what it is. I'll leave it to all of you. And uh, I'm going to walk back to my bicycle. Let's see if my bike is still here, actually. We'll see how good a neighborhood this is after all.